up in water. Started sailing. I'm a member of an outrigger canoe team, open ocean swimmer, scuba diver. So I just like fell in love and I'm way more graceful in the water than I am on land. This is where 38 year old Jenny Decker calls her home away from home. In 2016, I was the first solo person to kayak around the Big Island of Hawaii and that was 20 days at sea. A rigorous feat. All growing up, they weren't exactly sure what was wrong with me. I kept getting misdiagnosed, and still by like the age of three going into four, I wasn't able to walk. But even more so for Decker. The Shriners Hospital did a pro bono surgery on me to fix my legs. It took my mom being diagnosed later in her life, and then she was like, oh my gosh, this is what my daughter has. At 19, Decker was diagnosed with Charcot Marie Tooth Disease, or CMT, a rare degenerative nerve disease that weakens the muscles over time. It's like my brain is sign sending signals to my arms and legs, and they don't get it. And so I fall a lot, uh, have tons of pain all the time, lots of surgeries. Um, fine motor skills are very difficult to do. Um, hand trimmers. Like her mother, Decker could end up homebound in a wheelchair. I don't have a lot of time. But with the time she still has. Decker is now setting sail on a new goal. I am attempting to be the first solo sailor to circumnavigate the globe with Charcot Marie tooth disease. Three years, starting from Hawaii, heading west. I will be departing from Hawaii May or June, depending on weather, to get to the Southern Hemisphere. With the help of her friend's boat, my good friend Dustin, who just sailed around the world and got a world record as well, um, was like, why don't you just come take my boat? And her first mate, Romeo. I wish he helped with the lines and sails a little bit more and made me a sandwich now and then, but he's a good companion. Decker has been using crowdfunding methods like GoFundMe to help prep her boat for the journey. Some of these things have to be done quickly and emergently, um, but meticulously, and so because of my disease, everything takes me a little bit longer and slower. So I've been modifying things on the boat to help with that. And mentally, I was like, it's just a lap. A lap of a lifetime. Sometimes I do these things because I want to look back and be like, I lived my life to the fullest while I still can before I'm in a wheelchair. She's doing for herself as much as she is to spread awareness about CMT and finding a cure. The biggest thing is to inspire other people with this ailment that you can do anything that you put your mind to and anybody with a disability for that matter. In Fenton, Gabriella Vidal, News 4.